Hi friends, this is Wendy from Create and Escape. I am here with my friend Rita. We are going to do a live demo of uh, making a beautiful sea glass today. Rita is amazing. She's local to Peabody. She's a great crafter in our neighborhood in Peabody. And I so love working with her. We do some collaborations and have a lot of fun. And um, it's always nice to work with crafty friends. So I'm so lucky. She popped in today. She has a great following online. She has her own YouTube channel and she's on Facebook and Instagram, lots of social channels with a lot of followers. So I can partner up with her to do some fun live sessions of um, making some things on Sunday mornings at 10. So we're going to continue this for the foreseeable future of making some crafts and some projects every Sunday at 10. So kind of like a coffee and craft. So we're going to be doing that today. Um, as I do these lives, I'm really trying hard. She's working with me too. I need to slow down. Slow down. I talk so fast. It's like, you know, when you're in high school and you have to do a presentation and you think the faster you talk. Yeah, you but people want to hear. So let me just jump in on my audience too. And that is um, to tell you that I can't read your comments today. So if you're commenting, great continue to comment on either lives um, and also share it. So if you're watching on Facebook and you find Create and Escape Do It Yourself, uh, it's called Do It Yourself Workshops, find her page. She's trying to reach 10,000 likes and she's at seven. So she's seven tenths of the way there. So find Create and Escape DIY um, workshops on Facebook and do a thumbs up and follow, do that thing on Facebook. And she'll enter your name into a giveaway. Isn't that great? You got to see this giveaway. Yeah, so we're going to give away a sea glass. It's a $50 value. It's something we've made in the store from local sea glass from the North Shore. And what we're going to do now is start a live. I'm going to go into my audience of my Facebook group here and do um, a sea glass so you guys can see everything. We have a great workshop at the end of the month. It's a 20% off workshop to do sea glass. We started in sea glass, so we love sea glass. So we would love for you to see what we do. And also, you know, as we, as you pointed out to me, we live in, uh, uh, really, in the North Shore, Cape Ann has the best beaches. A lot of people go, oh, I like Cape Cod. And, and they're, you know, I like Cape Cod too, but we have the small beaches. In fact, Good Harbor Beach in, did you know? In all of the United States. And that's in Gloucester. It's just a few miles up. That's why PVD is so perfect because we can go, up, Nahant. you know, Nahant and, and Marblehead. Marblehead, Salem. I was driving around Salem with my friends, uh, with my son the other day. And I was just like, wow, this place just changes. So, I like, know. it's so alive. Yeah. It's so alive. So, if you plan on coming down or you live here, um make sure you say oh you have people who are saying hi on your channel oh, great. so all right i'll let you i'll let okay. you take over and oh, sure so friends i'm gonna i'm new to doing the lives and hooking everything up so if there's any technical problems i'm so sorry just bear with me we're gonna get some equipment to improve things and my wi-fi kind of stinks so it's kind of spotty sometimes we're uh, working on it we'll get there it's a it's a process. No. So today we're going to make a sea glass. We started in sea glass, so I'm going to show you some things around the studio. So I have my here, I my phone on a, a on a so stand, so I can't really studio, show you. So let me just move up here so you can see what she's Saturday, talking about. So she's talking about her um, her workshop. So she sells all of these things, but her her business model is selling workshops. So people come in and make it with their own two hands. Everybody loves to make things, and um, she has so many designs. And she started with this beach glass design, which is actually a resin. So all of these beach things are in the resin and um it's really pretty awesome <laughs> and then we also have sessions throughout the year and every um you can do private events with us we're off-site at next max and the brewery at the great credit Coast all right Brewing. let's let them watch oh sure so i'll get started get so started yeah let's see how this works again you may not be able to turn it okay. when when it's uh live okay 
Oh uh, yeah, I'll go this way. So that. All right. So what we're going to be doing is a sea glass. This is what we're going to. This is something. Um, if you like the page, tag a friend. Tag your favorite person you love to head to the beach with. We all love to. Sometimes it's nice to head to the beach by yourself and read a book and have some fun. But we always love to go with our bestie to the beach and right. bring you back to being a. Kid. My sister is a huge beach goer, and mostly she likes to worship the sun. Totally. I find I used to worship the sun. Now I worship the sunscreen. Um, so this is a beautiful sea glass that we've made here. And we're going to do a little uh, raffle with a randomizer to pick who wins. So if you um, like our Facebook page and comment on this stream here, we will um, send this off to a lucky person. It's really beautiful. It's got some great sea glass locally. It has sand. Uh, this is Good Harbor Beach here. So it's really nice. We use nice. a lot of really local things. I'm going to take you through what we do. This was a beautiful black frame. Um, we start off with a picture frame. You can also do this with mirrors, like like any surface. Oh, really? Yeah. I haven't done too much with that, but um, you can do a mirror. You could do um, like any type of picture frame. You could do just about anything so you could do it maybe around like if you wanted to do a fr how about if you took a picture of your boy at the beach and you wanted to frame that yeah. picture could you do it around the you could. edges you definitely that's could. a great idea yeah and you can even do it here's an example of i was just playing around with some alcohol inks yesterday so nice i love alcohol just ink i know you guys love alcohol but ink. i've seen some people do it this is a plate. <gasps> on, a on a tray so you could even do it on the tray and do a wow. little thing. But today we're going to do the picture frame. This is how we got started. We started our business because my sister went to a sea glass workshop. She didn't have a great experience. And she walked away from that experience being like, Wendy, let's do this. We, we need to do this. We need to do this. We can open up a business and have the best products and have beautiful sea glass from the North Shore. and sands from the north shore and have a lot of fun so that's how we got started and we just really love sea glass so this was a frame i actually got for free at like a yard sale it was like some awesome so i so it's good for like renewables yeah um so what i did was i love dry brushing so this was a black frame i thought it was kind of like stark looking so i just got some paint i got some white i got a chip brush and I did some white and um, made some pretty dry brushing designs. I'm going to put a little bit of a teal in this. Oh, we love doing, teal. Just got... doing a little of a teal. Um, oops, can you see? Oops, is it fading away? Uh-oh. Let me see. Did you have to put your um, oh. thing in? Were you still live? Oh, it, your live broadcast. Oh, it ended me. It ended you. Got to do it again. Just oh, go live God. again. So if you're on my stream, <laughs> we're going to work on this. Should but if I you're on my stream, on yours for now? yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So if you're on my live stream and there's 40 people on, 41 people on, okay. um, we're going to uh, show you how to do dry brushing or actually when Andy's going to show you how to do paint. And I just put a little bit on my paper plate. I got a chip brush. You get these at Home Depot, Michael's, like any paint store. Um, and what kind of paint is it, Wendy? This is Sherwin-Williams paint. Wow. I love their paint. And it's so acrylic or a latex? It's acrylic. And you can use any acrylic paint. And I'm just lightly dry brushing into this. Oh, I love it. And it's just giving a really rustic, chippy paint. Yeah. Uh, Joanna Gaines. Like sea worn. Yeah. It looks like it's been like, you know, you found it in the ocean. Yeah. It's beautiful. Or so, it's been it's been on beachside. Yeah. In the wet. It's weathered. It's weathered. weathered. And yes. I love that we've got a frame that like it costs nothing so and even around your house you might have some frames that you're not using anymore and this works great so we have our frame and for move. example this is one of our most popular designs that we do and it's the a beach wave and we start in the process where we do our sand on the bottom then we do our wave our crescent use all your favorite colors and then we do the starfish oh that's beautiful so, I'm going to take, you know, the vibe of what's happening here. 
So when you do sea glass, this is kind of a purposeful design, meaning it's a wave. Then you can also do something abstract, which this is what this is here. Oh, wow. So you just, That's no matter cool. what you do with sea glass and resin, once you put the resin on, it looks gorgeous at the end. We have children that do this, and they do a great job. Wow. It was really cute. We had a great workshop on Saturday because we do sea glass Saturday every Saturday at 9. Sea glass Saturday, guys. 9.30. We had a grandmother. She was Nana. Uh -huh. Her son got her a gift certificate to come with her grandchild. Oh, my God. Who was God. probably four years old. So we were talking about how great is it that her son gave her not just a gift, but a memory with her grandchild. And an experience. Exactly. That's what you're selling. You're not yeah. just selling the art. You're selling the experience. Yeah. I like when I've taken your co courses, I've been like, I, I you guys remember I, I took that Friends one a couple of weeks ago. And I knew nothing about Friends, but I got one answer to the quiz, right? Yeah. I was like, you have to come to this. It'll be so much fun. And she's like, but I don't know much about friends. I'm like, just come. You'll have fun hanging out with everyone. Right. And then I got to take home a beautiful piece yeah. of artwork that I did myself. Exactly. It's They're such a great experience. And we make it, whether it's sea glass or a wood sign or another project, we try to make the, the process seamless for you. So right. we take the stress-free piece out of crafting. And as we're right there alongside of you, you keep all the mess with us. We answer all the questions. If you struggle, we're right there to pick you up and cheer you on to see you succeed. Right. So it's a little bit different than, you know, just buying a, our kit. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's get started. I'm getting okay. impatient. So I'm, I'm going to start off here. I got my beautiful frame now. I'm going to get some sand. We do get our sand. Um, we do have like pretty colorful sands, like pink and yellow that you would see in like sand art. Because we do a lot of that like for kids. Aruba, it like sand oh, that's yeah. what or Bermuda white sand. Yeah. But you guys, this is sand from North Shore beaches. This is from Niles Beach, which is personally my mom's favorite beach in Gloucester. So, oh. and you can even get if you take a vacation. Think of all the times you've taken a vacation. And I'm gonna get some brushes. Uh, I'm really picky with my brushes. I like a nice soft end. So um, I always get like a brush along with me to kind of shape and move around my sand. I like it to look really natural and fun. Some people will use their hands to move things around. I just like the brush. So I'm gonna kind of give this some movement to create. So it looks natural. Yeah, so it looks like it's how it would be at the beach. And I don't mind that it's not perfect. And with the brush, I go down kind of like this and it kind of creates like the crashing waves came up and right. moved the sand. Right. Think about the times you've taken a vacation and you've collected seashells in Florida or, you know, you were away for your honeymoon and you collected some things. We get a lot of people that come in and will bring those treasures and they'll make something from it. That's awesome. What a great idea. It's a great idea. So like a keepsake. So let's say you went to Aruba on your honeymoon, like my girlfriend yes. Stephanie just did. And if she came back with maybe like a Dixie cup worth of, of sand yeah. and, and wanted to sort of commemorate her honeymoon, mm -hmm. could do that. And maybe totally. you could even with the cricket um, put, like something around you the can edge. Put vinyl. Like even here, we've done it where it goes like happiness comes in waves. Oh, we've done that. Awesome. So with our sea glass, we break everything up into these cute little piles. This actually came from Cape Cod. Um, we get people who contact us that sell their sea glass to us. We also head to beaches and we pick it up ourselves. Uh, my dad loves to go for a walk with his dog. And Pavilion Beach in Gloucester is a great place to get sea glass. Dane Street Beach is great. Wow, you know them all. If you go to, I try to, if you go to like Lincasheet in Gloucester, they have great sand Tell dollars. them the story of um, Singing Beach. Uh, do you know the story of that one? I really don't. Oh, so singing beach which is in manchester and we're talking massachusetts north shore of massachusetts so we're about 20 miles north of boston and uh we're in a city called peabody um it's it's spelled peabody but we say peabody and uh wendy's shop which is create and escape and you notice she's wearing her new apron that i made for her um and i actually have the other one so on. So the way you say Peabody is Peabody. 
And so in addition to sell, she sells a lot of stuff. Like people can come in, maybe they're on their way to a dinner and um, they, they need like something to give or housewarming. She does, she does do that. But her main focus is about bringing out uh, your own creative experience. And it's lovely working with Pasquale and Wendy. And she also has a couple other people. Um, quite a few teenagers working with us. Yes. And that's all. I want to point out that um, in addition, Wendy started a foundation. And um, it, it helps... Uh, employ teenagers um, and also she contributes to the downtown business by like doing things at Breaking Grounds and at Next Max thing which is in their new place and then Granite Coast so yeah. to name off just a few of the places that she's done some uh, workshops in. So she goes to workshops. So if you ever see them online, she usually will post it uh, at least a week ahead, I think. Yeah, at least. And, and you can come. Or she has drop-in time. Yeah. And we do appointments. So we kind of do a little bit of everything. So there's never a reason not to create an escape with us. We found during the pandemic, um, it was great that a lot of people who could afford it could come and buy a kit to go or come craft with us uh, socially distantly or um, do something to get creative. And I really started thinking about the people in the community who couldn't afford it. And I really felt bad for those people and those kids because we're Peabody can be somewhat diverse where um, there's a lot of people who um, don't necessarily have access or the funds to do something so well and that's part of like our core values sure. for the city right mm -hmm. i remember when we were talking to camille who is from pvd tv um and they're kind of next door a couple of doors and we um one of the goals of pvd tv is diverse create some diversity yeah. um there so we're trying to reach people that are maybe they're they're not uh, white. <laughs> they they have uh, they're person of color, and um, they have some really interesting thing that they like to do. And I'll tell you this now: sixty people online. I'll tell you this now. Um, uh, Wendy and I can I let the cat out of the bag? Sure. Wendy and I are going to be doing a podcast. It's going to be called Create an Escape, and it's going to be very similar to this, but we're going to reach um, it, a different audience. Still have you guys, um, and we're going to try to reach a more local audience by doing local through PVD area TV. But it will still be posted so everyone can access it. And really right. think about like when you create it's really good for your mental health and it helps you again, like the pandemic, it helps you relax and unwind and, you know, people and it's not just for kids. No, Let's just say, I got to tell you, I popped in here a couple weeks ago on a Friday night. I didn't have anything to do. And I'm like, I need something to do. And she, uh, Wendy, we had, we had the, she has a craft club a and there were like a dozen people. Adults. Uh, yeah, class. last fall she was stuck and needed um, needed to have somebody teach yarn uh, knitting. Remember, you, yeah, you're, yeah, you're a knitting yeah, person. So she does a lot of different um, things, and I, I want people to understand that it it's more than just kids. Although the kids, you do do camps and all Little of camps that. Camps and birthdays, but I would say our demographic is mostly female and middle age middle age yes moms. middle age but we do get a lot of young brides and we get teenagers too and nice. college students listen everybody can be creative yeah and when you think i get so many people that walk in the door and they're like i'm not crafty like they'll come with a group and they'll be like i'm not crafty i don't know what to do and they're so proud by the time they leave that they made something we just That's make it so awesome. easy and we partner with you and I love like my craft group. Um, it's Jules's craft group who comes in like, I, I want to say 12 yeah. times a year. 
And I find listening to these women, um, they just build each other up. As that was as, that the group that uh, yeah, I, you were here. Okay, okay. And I find as people are making things, they're like, oh my God, that looks awful. It doesn't look good. Yours looks nicer. And right. I find everyone's like building each other up. And that's what we need to do, especially as women and help support each other. Right. And, and so that's what we're going to try to keep the focus of the of the podcast at, yeah. um, is women being creative, using Healthy their women. hands, learning, growing, and feeling good about ourselves mm-hmm. and giving us the attention that we deserve. I, th- I believe that creativity is something that's just sort of built into the human spirit. And you can, people a lot of times say, oh, I'm not creative at all. And you are. And like you are. Is. Yeah, exactly. But and- this is a great place to test that. We get a lot of people that will come in and we help build their confidence to do things at home. And I'm even proud to say that I've had a few people come in. My person who teaches my hand knit class, she took a hand knit blanket class to learn how to make a hand knit blanket. Yeah. She now sells at craft stores. What? She sells online. That's so awesome. Like we built her confidence to show her how to do something that she has a little business for herself now. No, she has a side hustle. Yeah, so that's I so it. cool. So we're here to support that, and we let people be guest artists. I did a workshop at Next Max, and someone did floor. We did paint your pet there. It was so much fun. <gasps> oh, I saw that. So, what woman, do I do if I have more than one pet? I know. Well, you can only do one at a time. Some people have tried to do all their pets, and it's a little crazy. It doesn't work, huh? So you bring your son or your friend, and they'll do your other pet. Um, But I love that a woman approached me at the end and said, you know, I do florals, but can I ever help you with anything? And I want to give her a space that she can do her passion and show people how to do florals. That's so so cool. So we've been thinking about this podcast for a while. Um, And uh, Wendy's going to continue to work. So tell us a little bit about like what you're doing now. Okay, so what I did was I put my sand down below. I kind of, because I'm making my wave as in like the uh, design I was showing you. Like this is my inspiration piece here. Yeah. So I made my wave. I'm going to turn this around. Is is this going to be the front of the thing? So it's going to be all like lumpy. Um, Kind of, but not really. Okay. now it's facing you guys so you can see it. So I put my sand down here. Right. Um, I love using a mixture of um, my natural sea glass. And we also What's get... What's that? So the Colored natural glass? sea glass is like... No, no, I know what natural sea glass is. Oh. What, what is that that you have in your hand? Oh, sure. So this is actually glass. So like think about what you use for a fireplace glass. Not oh. fireplace, f- fire pit. So like it's just glass. Yeah, they put those in fire pits? Some people do like this really? is a little granular, but yeah, they'll have a beautiful fire. Pit. So it's just like shredded up glass bits. So think of the if you had a fire pit that was um, it has propane, yeah, and it lights up. They'll oh. use sometimes chunky glass. Pieces. Like they used to use lava rocks and in, in yes. gas grills. Okay, yeah. so this is the same thing. So it's glass, and it just gives a different texture and look, and you get something like a little bit more vibrant. So I find I like to have a combination of everything for my friends that come in um, and create with us. So I just, I'm doing a little um, mixture of my regular glass here that you would use. It's glass glass with my I love the contrast of the peachy tones yes. too and, and i generally don't like peach but it but this, it looks really good together this is beautiful this is just craft um you know you get this at michael's and it would, like on amazon it comes in purple it comes in a mother of pearl i'm actually out of my mother and pearl uh, which is my favorite uh, so i'm using this coral which is really pretty so i have this in here just adding some really cute elements. We also, there's something called jelly bean sea glass, which you can buy it. Um, I got this actually from, there's a few different like sea glass websites. Oh, really? And this is, it's oh. really small. So like when you're making a more purposeful design of like say a bird, it could be the eye and things like that. I see. So it's nice, nice. to have those pieces. Nice. So we do try to have everything. When we get a lot of kids in, you know, they dump a lot of sea glass and don't use it. So I always joke and call this my unicorn mix. Um, <laughs> we keep everything, and you never know what you'll find in here. Here's just like a really baby seashell. I'm going to put oh, that so in cute. my sand. And then um, I kind of go through here to see what I need to find. 
and we got pretty paints and it's just things nice. through the years. A lot of this has been around forever, but this is the mother of pearl that I oh. love that, but I just don't have oh, much put of that, that in there. Yeah. So we So it varies on what people so you, you buy stuff online but you have people that actually come in and and say want to buy my my glass all the time which <laughs> is nice uh, because we need that natural stuff too it's there's actually a sea glass shortage which is hard to believe because oh. so many people are um using more plastics like if you think of snapple snapple used to come in a glass now right. it's plastic it's in plastic yeah well it's, they caved they well, caved i know so it's hard to get sea glass and it's hard to get those pretty blues and those reds. I would say blues oh. and reds are the toughest to find. Yeah. But not enough, you know, if you're out on a boat, you need to crack a bottle, a glass bottle and drop it in the ocean. <laughs> um, <laughs> Throw your glass in yeah. the ocean. We don't want to tell people that though. <laughs> There's just not enough sea glass out there for people. Oh. And it's just because um, just the way the environment is today, like not enough people. And that's where sea glass comes from. Because glass is in the yeah, ocean. Yeah, it's it been tumbled for years. Right. Um, some people do get a, a tumbler. You can buy a tumbler online and put regular glass that you break up in there. I've never done it because um, yeah. I really love to get things local. And we're so local. <laughs> we're so wicked we local. Are very local. <laughs> but it is great. We have this. And um, again, a lot of people may have collect sea glass for years and years and years. And then they're like, what do I do with it? And or right, their like, grandmother passed yeah, and she was a yeah. sea glass. That's so awesome. And then what's nice is all those people, I've had a lot of people who have someone to pass and I um, invite them to come in and make a sea glass with everything before I take it. So they nice. get a little of That's awesome. So all right, we need a little blue and the wave at the top. So? Sure. I think. I'm going to go and get some more over here. Are you going to put that big seashell on there too? I wow. wow. Yeah. Um, let me get some blues. I'm trying to find my So this is really pretty. I'm gonna get some oh, so guys, um, if you're watching uh, from afar, we'll be back with the show tomorrow. We're actually going to be doing, um, tomorrow is National Cheer Up the Lonely Day. Really? So I thought that we would do just like a fun, happy, go lucky card. Uh, so if you are available tomorrow at nine o'clock or you can watch the replay, um, I'll be back on Monday at nine o'clock and we're going to be doing, I'm going to find a fun card that we can do together. I haven't picked it out to be honest. Um, and let's see. And then on Tuesday, you know, that piece, uh, Anna Griffin piece snowflake card that everybody loves in the community. Well, we're going to do that again because I know everybody just loves it. So we're going to do it again for Christmas in July. So that's on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to I'm actually going to be live on Wednesday at nine o'clock for a special announcement. So, um, so I hope you can join me on Wednesday or if not Thursday. And don't forget that Amazon's having their Prime Day uh, coming uh, uh, this Amazon. weekend. Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Last year on Amazon Prime Day, we got a box of. Um, hundred chip brushes which are these yeah for um i want to say they were 9.99 and we ended up for a hundred a hundred and we ended up buying a couple hundred of them and it's lasted us all year wow hope they do that again no that was i really wonder good. what cricket stuff they're gonna have um that's gonna so be so i'm adding cool. some blue in here for you but i'm gonna add a few different shades of blue i love to get the contrast because if you think of a wave it has different colors and Again, I've seen people do like hot pink waves. Like you don't have to be hot pink. That's you awesome. You don't have to be so true to how it looks in right. the real world. And and sadly, we don't have a lot of seashells. We have a lot of glass and little baby rocks <laughs> from the ice age, I think. But if you want seashells, what where do you go for that? Um, we get them at the beach. Again, it's another thing. I had a whole thing of uh, shell from the ground. Um, I do get, my friends will come back from vacation. Get out. And uh, someone brought me a bunch of shells from Florida. 
they were at Santa Pell Island, and I have. And they picked them from the from the beach. Yeah, they picked them from the beach. <gasps> they... Well, put a scallop in there. I, I love scallops. I do too. Those are really pretty. But... I love I love those too. So these are things that, that we sell as an add-on. It's a mermaid. Oh, it's a mermaid. <laughs> so um, sometimes you can put it on the side of the frame or put oh, it right there. And you can paint it or not? Yeah. I saw somebody once. It only happened once, but it was gorgeous. They made a sea glass of all their treasures of sea glass they collected with their child. Their child was a grown adult at this point. Wow. She kept a... Um, a Polly Pocket watch of her daughter's, and she incorporated it into her sea glass, like it Get was out. on the beach. So there's just so many countless things you can do um, with sea glass. Yeah. So we're gonna add some shells. A lot of these are local sea glass. Uh, excuse me, sea glass um, shells that we collect. Oh really? If I'm out at the beach, I love you know taking just my dog for a walk, and nice. I just pick up shells in my pocket along right. the way. Right. And you're a little bit spoiled because your family's from. Uh, Gloucester. Yeah, they're from Gloucester, so there's some really So great you kind of when you in Peabody we don't have any beaches. No. That's kind of the joke. There's no beach in Peabody. Everybody else has beaches, yeah. but but Peabody. Um so it, it's it's like you have to go outside of the city to yeah. enjoy the beach. And even flat rocks, like these are beautiful flat rocks. Like we even get those because you never know what someone here will make for a design. And I can show you some of the ones. These are customers, and I will show you what our customers. That's awesome. For adding the blue in there. Well, you requested it, so. Yeah. So again, these are customers who have to pick up. Um, and I think you always get some inspiration. This is from Hold on. a child made this. She was probably about six years old. Wow. Really cute. And then um, someone else made this. This was a <laughs> but she really wanted the colors. A lot of people tend to put these in like their bathroom or their living room. Oh, really, colors. really. Nice. So her bathroom. This is really cute. This was a little boy. It was a shark. Oh, a shark. <laughs> yes. So that's my darling. And then this is um, made for someone. And he got a map. Of, that looks like a butterfly. It's, it's interesting. He got a map of um, a place he would head with his grandparents. And it was... It matches the map no of the way. lake that he did. Nice. So a lot of people have a purpose when they come in. Right. And again, this is a Oh, I love it. A grown up did this one, but we have little sand dollars. And, and you're putting urchins. it on, um, so if you if I were to do this at home, yeah. I don't I don't have any of this stuff. But if I were to do this at home, could I buy a frame and then take the back out or is it a special frame? Um it's a special frame like I know, you know, we kind of keep that little part a secret of okay. what we of how we do it, but you can buy like a waterproof frame online and it's gonna it needs to be waterproof yeah okay because okay. otherwise your um your resin resin will seek right through okay. but like if you think of like a mirror how it's all sealed and how right. you know is if you put water in it and it seeks oh through. get out wow when we first started we would do a lot of that it took us a long time this to figure that out one. I love that. that's so and nice the I like the one you showed at the very very beginning with the it was that size. So so that if you're going to take one of your classes, you can expect to go home with. So, but doesn't resin take a while? It does take 24 hours. So we offer it two different ways. We sell these as kits to go. And when you sign up online for a kit with me, you pick if you want coastal colors, which are our blues. You pick if you want neutrals, which is more of your earth tones, or if you want brights, like kids like pinks and yeah. bright colors. Color, you pick unnatural your, color. You pick your palettes and um, you select your frame. This is our largest frame, which is 11 by 14. Okay. Then it goes to an eight by 10 frame. Yeah. And then it goes to a five by seven frame. Oh, so they can pick th either E any yeah. of those sizes. You can pick those. We also do wood trays. So think of a wood tray and oh. then you put the design in the tray. And you and a wood tray doesn't necessarily have to be sealed. It's already pretty sealed for you. Oh, that's and awesome. You, you decorate down. And it would just be decorative anyway. So when you're done putting all your little pieces on, yes. how do you keep them secured on there? You really don't have to. Um, we just, I'm going to put the resin on and show you. I just want to get a starfish for the end here. Oh, and then we we'll do, fish, um, then we will add the resin on top. There's nothing, there's no wrong here. 
that's yeah, the great thing it's art. about yeah it's art i and, remember one time uh, coming in to see Wendy and and I'm playing with all the stuff on her table because you come into this shop and it looks like you know there's something going on all at once and even if there's nobody here and I remember coming in I was playing with some paint she goes you're an artist and I'm like I guess so you know like I I, I was saying oh I'm sorry because uh, here's the thing this is a craft that you can come come a craft place that you can come to get dirty and leave the then mask. leave it and leave I'm and go home starfish in here, starfish oh so cute and i'm gonna put this little stuff oh, I, love I, mean, it. I usually have white but we've been so busy i need to more coming but we get these in colors the kids love them but it kind of matches with yeah i love it so what do you guys think oh wait i have to show you <laughs> i was focused on isn't that great so beautiful. So now I'm going to show you how we do the resin part. We're not gluing anything. You may be in um, a coastal town that you've seen these type of things, and it's a picture frame, and people glue them. Haven't you seen them before? Where it like looks like two little birds on. So a you go to Rockport, yeah, and you and you yeah, buy it just, for like sixty five dollars. I know. I was just down. Um, in Salem, um, where's the wharf? Pickering Wharf. Pickering and, Wharf. And they had yeah. something that was like this, and it said something like um, a cute little, you know, beachy quote, and then it had like a little bird on a perch. And those type of things, people use super glue and glue them down. They do. But they're not putting resin on top of it. They're they kind know. of 3D, and they oh. leave it that way. But this becomes 3D. It so, does. It's totally 3D. And it's not flat. Nope. But you know what I suppose you could do if for my cricket crafting people, um, you can you could do that reverse vinyl, yeah. like mirror your vinyl and put it on the back. Yep. That's what I would do. Yep. And we've done that a few times. I haven't done that again recently, but we totally could. We used to do that a lot. I would sometimes when we first started, um, we would do a lot of events at Beaufort, and I would bring my cricket, and people would, and I'd get sayings on demand, and I would, because it was like oh. four of us, and they, my sisters would be helping people, and I would be like making their message on the cricket. Awesome. You did that with yeah. a big cricket? Yeah, I used wow. to bring it everywhere. And now you have the mini. You guys, this is my friend that I gave her the mini. We got the mini. And the, and the uh, joy. Yeah. So, uh, Christiana, if you're listening uh, or you're watching today, um, this is my friend. Isn't she totally worth yeah. worth it? You said, I wish I could be your friend. You are yeah. my friend. But this is my really good local friend. Yes. And uh, I just had to give her all those no, great things. No, we appreciate it. Um, we try to do so much, you know, we give back to the community all the time. You so do. But a lot. So when you can help us, it really is amazing. Oh, so last thing you can add, my friends that love a little bling or glitter, you yeah. can totally do that as well. Nice. Um, another thing I learned from my mother is, let me get this. You can, um, you, so your whole family's crafty? My mom is super crafty. Yeah. And she, and she again, she's like an incredible artist. Hold it down. Oh, to, she, in front of it. Um, that looks like a whale's tail. It is a whale's a tail. A fluke. They oh. call that a fluke, guys. What she did was she made some sea glass, and she wanted a different color. So <gasps> we um, got spray paint, and we spray painted the back of it. Get out of town. So but wow. if you wanted something like this, before you start, we spray paint it. Um, but once you do it, you're kind of locked and loaded. We can't change it. And then you decorate, and it gives that illusion. Wow. Mom is super crafty. Um she has rheumatoid arthritis and she can't paint and craft like she used to but growing up she would do some incredible things did she grow up in gloucester too she did yeah she grew up in gloucester yeah. then my family moved to pennsylvania and i lived there for a while okay, okay resin so let's talk resin. resin so this particular resin this is from michael's it is craft smart it comes in part and a. it's nice it's good yeah i've had no problem you have to be careful i did notice when i was buying some some of it is yellowed on the shelf 
you don't want to buy any resin that ever looks yellow. Why? Um, it's old. It's old. And if it goes on yellow, it's going to look yellow on here. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So gotcha. I made sure I told the sales associate because it was there for a while. <laughs> I kept seeing it. I'm like, you might want to Right. Move Maybe this off. everybody <laughs> just picked the other ones yeah, all around it. And it's not good. It's damaged. And resin's really expensive. Um, it is really expensive. Do you when, think it'll lay off a no, little bit? No. It's just. Do you, do you know that with resin, it has to be transported a special way? It can't go on a plane because it's considered an explosive. It is? So when we first started our business, there was only a few places to get resin. One place was the West Coast, and it had to go by truck to get to us in Massachusetts. Wow. But now it's more people are using resin, so it's easier to get resin. Wow. We'd be wow. in a panic before a show if we didn't have our resin because something a shipment was late. But now you can get resin, it seems like, just about everywhere. So All it's right. a 50-50 split. Some resin is not a 50-50 split, so you need to read your instructions. There's part A. This one is um, casting and coating, and this one's to make it hard. So one's to make it bright, and one's to make it hard. Oh. So the, And why do they have to be mixed? I mean... They, it, both, they you, can't be mixed together? Well, they will be mixed together. No, I know, but like, why? No, it, they, it, it gets has activated. Some, oh, so right. It goes in 50-50. We're going to stir it for three minutes. It says to do it for two. I always do it for three, just in case. And then I'm going to show you how I put it. Okay, on. go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, do it. I may pour a little extra because I have some sea glass in the store. I need to um, seal. So I'm doing it to here. And these are measuring cups I got on Amazon that's made for resin. Wow. Um, you can't just fake it. Well, and use, you don't like, ever want to use those cups. That, well, you can use solo cups solo and cup. things like that. But um, this has the measuring capability that it's easy to do. We've done a lot with resin recently. So I just wanted to try these. And it's volume, not weight. Yes. Right? It's you know what's interesting? I do see some people have a scale when they do it. They weigh it? They weigh it, which you could do, but I, this has worked out fine for this me. This reminds me of soap making, you guys. Kind of. So All I'm my soap just tying that up, and it looks good to me. Putting my lids back on. Does it have a smell? I can't really smell. It does smell. have an odor to it. So do in a, in a, a uh, well-ventilated well -ventilated room. Um, a lot of people that do like tons of resin work will wear a mask right um we don't really feel we do enough of it to have to do that and at our events we seal these after you leave or if you want to stay and have it sealed we wait till everyone goes and you can stay oh because I, I don't want it to be ever offensive yeah 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 we did an event at next next with resin and it was they were like don't do well they're a, they're a restaurant <laughs> we didn't think of it um yeah it it's sort of like you wouldn't have scented candles at a restaurant, right? Um, you made candles. No, I know, but like you wouldn't have scented candles at the table of a restaurant. Well, we just, well, it depends. Would you? Well, totally correct. But we just did an event at a restaurant. Yeah. And we, it was big enough. Um, I'm trying to find a clean cup, but I'm going to go with this one anyway. Okay. Um, we did scented candles. We're at the Gloucester House, but like it's that a was huge a, restaurant. And isn't it like sort of open that yeah, place where you open, did it? Well ventilated. So. Yeah. So don't so be doing okay. this in your closet, no. ladies and gentlemen. It's don't stinks. be doing this in your closet. So when I put this in, I'm really scraping the entire thing to get everything out. One of these is thicker than the other. We, meaning like it just holds on to the cup a little bit more. It's this one here. Oh. So it just, I just keep scooping it. And it takes a lot of practice. When we used to do our workshops at bars and restaurants when we first started, we didn't do the resin there. We gave you a kit to do it at home. And we gave instructions and we did a demo of it. And it just takes a lot of practice. We would do, my sister Debbie would do house calls with people. Get Alexa, up. set timer three minutes. So now I'm going to stir it. I mentioned to you my mug here looks a little dirty, meaning there's old paint on the side, but right. it will be fine. Um, but you're going to use a clean solo cup. And, and what's that, just a stirring stick? Yeah, we made these with a laser. So <laughs> a spoon, a plastic spoon is fine. You never, with resin, um, some helpful tips are 
put um, a trash bag down if you're doing this at home. This will destroy your countertops if you put resin down. Really? Resin's meant to stick and be permanent. Right. So they, another reason to come to the workshop. Totally. Like when we first learned this, my sister Patty, um, we kind of, she was remodeling her kitchen and we kind of like destroyed her kitchen before she remodeled. She was remodeling <laughs> anyway. But we, we, we learned a lot. Like you don't joke with resin. Like right. It's, you know, people use it for bar tops. So think about a restaurant, that bar top is permanent. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've seen some weirdo videos online where people are like re-finishing their countertops. Yes, I love it. They're beautiful, but like they put like pennies all on the yeah, thing. That's how Next Steps then... was. He did pennies. He did? Yep. On his um, still location there. No, he moved um, to the new location, but yeah. this is going to be a dumpling place. <gasps> Dumplings, you guys. Like hot pot, like think of like in Chinatown oh, where you like have, ramen noodle type of thing. Kind of think of like you have a pot in the center of your table in your broth, and you get your meal and you cook it with all the different flavors. Get out! Um, and like meals, meat is meat in and there. Chicken and vegetables. Get out! What's great is um, next door. Um, I think it's going to call, be called Chow Chow or something like that. And Chow he's Chow. opening it. It's really authentic. His wife is from China. And they're her old family recipes. Oh, wow. Um, and it's going to be incredible. Right. I've been, and it's, imagine like a dumpling recipe that's been passed down from your right? family. Last night we went to the Jade um, on Lowell Street. You can't go wrong with Jade. Yeah. So they're like an old standard. Yeah. But this sounds like more authentic. Very authentic. Um, it's his wife's family recipes. And what's great is, so on where I started, the countertop that had the little pennies on it, he's now replacing. And she wrote in Chinese script quotes, and they're all Yoda quotes, which oh, are hysterical because you wouldn't awesome. know it because it's written in Chinese script. Oh, and she's putting out. resin on top of it. So it's like that thin Chinese rice paper. And she wrote. Oh, she resin's was, amazing. I know. So I, I want to work writing, with this stuff. And it was incredible because it looks so fancy. And But then to know it, she was using Baby Yoda quotes. Was Isn't so that funny? Like, yeah, people come in thinking it's some like Confucius yes! quotes. Yeah, and so. it's really just like. Come here, yeah. me want. Yeah. Or so I don't know. I don't even do Yoda. Alexa, stop. Oh, there's our so timer. With um, the resin, I always use a timer. So set your phone or set your, um, you know, device. She like did I it did. with her device. <laughs> so I know there's some little bubbles in here. Yeah. You can always use a heat gun and that will zap those out. I find over time it works They fine. work their way out. Yeah, they level out. So I'm just, I go around my edges right. first. Let me make sure I'm getting you on camera. So I go around my edges. And I like making sea glass that has some window view over here. So it looks. So you leave the, um, you leave that part without? No, meaning like some people cover it like every inch of the picture frame. Right. And you totally can. I liked when it's a little bit of clear. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So then you can see the sun through it. Oh, right. You can but hang the, it in a window. Yeah. There's no right or wrong way here, guys. It's just doing what you think is right. Resin is self-leveling. So I actually poured just enough. So this will start to self-level. I'm going to wait a little bit. You never want to like over pour. So I start, um, I just poured from here. I yeah. would suggest you would use a spoon and just take it from the spoon and drizzle it. And still I can see some spots that my resin isn't in. So I'm just going to drizzle it like you would on a cake. Like if you were drizzling oh, some ice. That's so awesome. And you can see right Rita, like there's a few spots over here where it's oh, not yeah. spreading. So yeah, I'm just yeah. going to go right over there. And it's not leaking through because they're special secret, um, our special, special secret, secret. secret, which some people come in just to get our frames and that's totally. And cool. that is leveling off in the middle. It is. It does it over so time. So it'll be super smooth. How long does it take to set up? Um, 24 hours to 48 hours. Sometimes, depends on the weather. Yeah, it depends on the weather. Resin loves to be at about 70 or 68 degrees. Really? So we re it's, 
it's interesting. It's very like temperamental and scientific. It's like skin. <laughs> I know. Human body. It's weird. When we had an event recently in Gloucester, we were outside and doing this. Oh. And the resin was sealing so quick because of the heat. Oh, get out. Which like we hadn't done an event outdoors like that before. So it was really interesting to see. Oh, wow. But yeah, it's self-leveling. I'm just popping around the frame to see like where I'm missing anything and if there's anything. Right. Like this so while, while she's finishing that up, guys, I just want to remind you, please, please support our local artists. If you're watching and you're local, um, sign up for a workshop or maybe you have a, a grand or a little that would like camp. They have summer camp here. And we and even do adult birthdays. So we do a lot of adult birthdays, bachelorettes. Wow. So if you want to get together with your family and friends, uh, you can bring food and, you know, um, and create and have fun. And we yeah. make a great time for you guys. Or you can sign up for one of the local ones. You're going to keep doing that, right? Because I know totally. that so I know um, Emil was down here. Emil is from, he's the owner of Next Mex Thing, which is now down on, is that Central Street? It's Central Street. Um, it used to be like Parking in the back. back in the day, recently, yeah. Black Sheep. He has an incredible bar down there. So when you do an event right. like this at Next Mex, it's my only event that we do. Um, that includes a margarita oh. and chips and salsa. Oh, we're going to be there this Thursday making beer openers. Um, beer openers. We all need, oh, like a can opener, like a, a, a oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old fashioned. Yeah. So, That's awesome. You know, it's really, it's $40 and you get a beer opener like this. I have a few different quotes. Some are really simple, like, right. Pat, welcome to the patio, like sip and grill yeah um, so you get your beer opener and so you get your project then you get your margarita the and chips and, salsa. chips and salsa it's like a, a night for so, 40 bucks exactly think of you it know, as that's like you having night. a night out and it lasts you do it it takes like at least an hour oh it's at least an hour it's typically about two hours people really? relax have a good time and they chat you pick your um your background we'll show you how to do you know some washes if you want it we have 60 colors to choose from wow well this is done with stencils we'll help get your stencil on for you but you get a project you get a night I out a margarita it. if I you don't it. drink you can have a virgin or a soda yeah they do have virgin sound they there. do and they have some mocktails now too oh really yeah they're really good um Sometimes I enjoy the mocktails more than the regular drinks. Right, right. But there's, it's a great location. It's a fun vibe down there. Definitely check us out if you're local. So that's this Thursday. Yeah. If you're local. And we'll be uh, there every Thursday. Do you sign up for that one? Sign up on my website. Okay. And what's your website address? CreateAndEscapeDIY.com. Dot com. Create so and escape. And you spell out the and. On the website. On the it's website, A &D. it's create A N D escape. DIY.com. Yep. They don't let you do the end sign. Yeah. In, in the URL. Yeah. Right. 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 So check that out. We're going to be there for the rest of the year on Thursday nights. We just did paint your pet last week. We're going to be doing. Oh, so you booked for the rest of the, the year. Rest of the year. And Emil's That's so awesome. A great little, he's very artsy as well. And we. And his food is fabulous fabulous and fabulous. we've mapped out a creative plan for you we're going to be doing even in the winter ceramics vintage ceramics so it's themed every yeah i love it i love theme. succulents we're going to do a theme night in the fall that's like right tell me about the succulent thing oh that's going to be in the fall more towards september uh -huh. um hard to think september's going to be here before you know it but yeah we, we do a um live pumpkin and we do succulents inside of it <gasps> Um, sometimes we use a faux pumpkin like you would see at the craft store and we do live succulents inside. So I take you through the process of doing all of that. That's amazing. But we have a whole craft series. It's a lot of fun. And you guys, you missed, uh, you missed Pasquale. I should say he snuck right I know. out in because he was over next door, but he snuck in. I don't think he's going to come out here and, we have and a... say hello, Pasquale. He's working hard. He's working, working hard. We he's have, the resident artist. He's incredible. Um, yeah. We have a series next week for a kids camp where it's make your own dollhouse. 
Oh so my he's God. Building the dollhouses. Do you have any openings? We don't. It is sold out. Sold out. So what's next? So um, for the kids, we have yeah. Disney the week after. We have Harry Potter. We have <gasps> Harry um, Potter camp. Yep. Harry so Potter. tell me what's the schedule? Uh, the schedule, if you check my calendar, it's on there. It's $250 for the week or $50 a day, same price either way. Okay. We're finding a lot of parents need to fill days and not necessarily the week. Oh, so they're coming on Monday, Wednesday, Friday? Whatever works for them based on like their summer schedule. Like, okay, some but the are, camp is is five days, right? It's five days, and it runs to the end of August. So it takes you all the way to the end. So you And what time is it? 9 to 12. And we include a snack that we get from Breaking Grounds. Oh, and nice. they get a drink, and they come in. We have, like, nice coloring pages. We have teenagers that work. So it. they don't just do one project. They do one key project, and yeah. then they do a little side project. What we love to do, and Pascal's great at it, is really talking to each kid to find out what they like. Oh, this nice. week, um, what was our theme this week? Oh, it was Encanto this week. Encanto. But we found out the Disney movie. Is it Disney with Minions? It oh, yeah, the Minions. Out. Minions so, 2 are coming out. All the kids were talking about Minions. So Pasquale quickly shifted gears, and we did some things with Minions. So we really listened to the kids to find out what they want. Right, and, and also your craft club people. Because yeah. when when you when I came in to meet them, they were like, oh, I saw this. Could we do that for the next yeah. time? That we sort totally of thing. Wendy, that. you're so flexible and so, you know, adaptable. And with the kids. So like, proud of you. I love the teenagers that we have working. Some of them came from um, my craft camp. So they were campers that we've had that are now like old enough to work here. And we have one girl, she's 14. She's my youngest worker and she's a local artist. And so she's very artsy and this is her dream job. She actually, wow. I can find it. She made this this week. Her name is Dylan. And wow. Like, isn't that amazing? Wow. 14. I hope you can see it. Hold up higher because, yeah, there it is. Oh, my gosh. Did she freehand draw those? She drew that. So, like, we're wow. really encouraging her, and Pasquale's helping her, too, and I am. And Pasquale is so gifted. Yeah. He's so gifted. So it's nice that, like, we're really helping um, a young person in the community who loves art bring – She's like, this is her dream job. She's like, I get to do art and get paid for yeah. it. Yeah. So it's great to see something like that. All right. So finishing up, you would just let this sit. It's going to sit. So if you have pets, you don't want to keep your resin project in a room that your cat will walk on it. Oh. Or so if you live in a house that is has, a has lot of hair dogs. In, the, in the air, what do I do? Put it so, someplace that it's not going to get hairy. Yep. So if you have a craft room that's pet free and kind of dust free, we send you home if you buy a kit with us with the pizza box. Oh. And you do your craft basically in the. Can pizza you leave box. it in the pizza box? You can. I wow. kind of would suggest to leave it cracked open a little bit, just to let it air. Yeah. Up. So um, it seals from time, and it and as yeah. it seals, how will I know it when it's done? If you sent me home with this, so you'll know when it's done. And just for example, there's a little bubble right there, and that happens. You can just poke that bubble. Um, I just grabbed the top of a tip. Yeah, but sometimes some people like to see the bubbles. So, but and gonna... you can also, if you don't like the bubbles, you can use a little heat gun on there. Yeah, a heat gun works great. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use a hair dryer because it would move things. Right, but too a powerful. Heat gun works great. Um, but you'll leave it, let it sit for 24 hours. Tomorrow morning, this will start to look hard, but still leave it. I've had, uh, I've seen an example online of someone who wasn't quite done and right. it felt hard and they want and they hung and up they try to hang it up it, it came down well it, it's it's not it hard slid. It, it's starting to slide uh, but it will be hard as a rock wow when you're done. wow so and it has a hanger in the back yeah this no is not that one um, this one here you can you can put Home little Depot, hardware a, uh a, is it it's like call it a oh, teacup holder uh, i or a yeah i thought that it was called like an eye I screw. Yeah. So the I screw screws in, get some fishing wire and it can hang up. Oh, really beautiful. Pretty. Beautiful. You can get a little. Um, I like it on the other side too. And some I like people, both sides. I've had people do that too, where they really loved this side of it. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, again, it's art. So however you like it. Well, however how you work. like it. And if you were to head down to a gift shop in Rockport or the Cape. Tell us. Yeah. Or Etsy. 
something like this would go for about $75. Something like we just made would yeah. be about $150. And it's $65 wow. to make it here. Wow. So, so you can have the experience and then also take home the next day yeah. a project, a fully done project. That's so great. And you bring up a really good point. This is summer, and so that means Gloucester and Rockport is going to be just crazy busy, and you want to take down all your spring stuff and put up something totally. that's Get some summery. Summer. And uh, so this and would be a great opportunity. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Let's think ahead to like Christmas mm -hmm. and stuff like that. That's so awesome. This um, fall, we'll be showing you how to make sea glass Christmas trees. That's oh be my God, us. me. I want to see that. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you so thank you. much for, um, for sticking around Definitely. and seeing this whole project. I kind of challenged uh, Wendy saying that she probably couldn't make it to the 60 minute mark, but she did. 60 minutes yeah. her her videos usually are like one or two minutes so this is better so um anyone er, everyone thank you so much for coming don't forget to get your name in for my monthly raffle i will post the link and the rules and description in the description of this video it. and also remember if you are go to facebook and find create and escape diy workshops and um, that's all you have to type in in Facebook. And if you like and share it with somebody that you know, you have a chance to win this. All right. We'll it off and that you said you could buy that at a store like in Rockport. Oh, sure. You pay like 75 bucks. Definitely. Yeah. So here's an opportunity to win a $75 value um, project. Isn't that great? So um, so thank you so much, Wendy. And to, for my guys that are watching now, I'll see you tomorrow for Cheer Up the Lonely Day. We're going to make a really fun, sunny card to cheer up the lonely. So um, then anybody can be lonely with this COVID thing still ongoing. So you'll have plenty of people that you can make cards for. All right everybody thank you so much for your time i do appreciate it this is rita from miss rita to the rescue and this channel normally is cricket chat with miss rita definitely um subscribe and you can do that and and put your name in for one of our big giveaways we're giving away this month we're giving away an easy press mini Ooh. essential no everything bundle has everything and also the new hat press we're giving away mm -hmm. and you use a light pad, right? We do use it sometimes because we'll get some designs that are like crazy. So the light pad's fantastic. Right. So we're giving away one of those as well. So thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Take